Ladies and gentlemen, there's a fantastic article in Fox News out detailing and highlighting the opening arguments for the prosecution, the Durham Probe Special Counsel Prosecution, and Michael Sussman's defense. Michael Sussman is on trial for lying to the FBI. He wrote a text message to James Baker, the top attorney at the Bureau, saying, Jim, I'm only coming on my own, not on behalf of a client. The reason he lied is because his client was the Clinton campaign and the Democratic Party. And so, obviously, he didn't want to know another attorney, the top attorney or the top legal counsel at the Bureau, that he was going to give him information. He was going to give the Bureau information that would help Trump's direct political rival. Um, and it wasn't just opposition research, which is what the Durham Probe Special Counsel rips apart today. The opening trial, or the opening uh, arguments, oral ar- the, the prosecution and defense delivered opening arguments in the case against Sussman on Tuesday. And this is a great article. The special counsel said that Sussman used the Bureau as, quote, a political tool to manipulate the Bureau on the eve of the, okay, to create an October surprise against then-candidate Trump, a plan that largely succeeded. So you can't utilize the Federal Bureau of Investigation to create your own October surprise or to create your own myth or, you know, um, conspiratorial theory. The people who claim to uh, be the most rational and logical also believe that Facebook ads swung 2016. Nothing could be further from the truth. They can't even go ask, actually don't, don't debate any of these wonderful, morally superior, almost always apoplectic uh, people. But, but if you were to debate them, don't ever, but if you were, Ask if they know, ask if they know a Facebook ad or they can describe a Facebook ad that swung people from Clinton to Trump. It, it, it's, it's not, it's, it's not, um, there, there are no Facebook ads that swung anyone from Clinton to Trump. There are none. There are, there are Facebook ads that are said to have existed that are absurd. I think one had like Jesus and Satan arm wrestling with, um, uh, with, with it, it's like so absurd the whole thing was like they needed they needed some way to justify losing to Donald Trump and before that they needed some way to disparage him because in t- 30 years in public life they had nothing all of those people look all the people in your life who can't stand Trump who think he's a tyrant and menace if they had met him in your life watching right now all of those people that you know that might have disowned you like they disowned me. If they had met Donald Trump prior to 2016, they would embrace his rear end with such passion and energy. They might fall right into it. So these people are hypocrites, and they needed to believe some kind of myth. Hit subscribe, by the way, to this channel. Hit subscribe this to this channel. We're almost at 200,000 subs. Hit subscribe to the Stock Market Crash channel. Very important segments on the Stock Market Crash channel every single day. If you want to become a member of H.A. Goodman on YouTube, please go ahead. It's just right when you type in uh, this YouTube channel, you could see how to become a member. If you want to support my Patreon, your support is greatly, greatly appreciated. I'll probably have a live stream tomorrow evening, not today, but... Uh, I might, so check the check the channel every two hours or so. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, please go ahead. I believe Bitcoin's going to get to around 10,000 or lower. I believe the market is going to crash a lot more. We're going to have the 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 three to five thousand point, the two to five thousand point drops in like one or two days. What a lot of people consider a crash. That some people say, well, this isn't a crash. This is just a very long correction. It's like, no, it's a crash. We're seeing it in slow motion, and I predicted it in The Federalist in October. So I was published in The Federalist in October of 2021. So go ahead, please, read that article, share it everywhere if you're still on social media. I'm not on Twitter. I'm not on Facebook. I suggest everyone get off of Twitter or Facebook, even with Elon Musk purchasing it. But I want to keep reading this. It's very, very interesting. 
So, privilege of a lawyer who thought he could lie to the Federal Bureau of Investigation without consequences. Privilege of a lawyer who thought that for the powerful, normal rules didn't apply, the government argued. The government argued that in bringing the serious allegations to the Bureau, Sussman bypassed normal channels and went straight to the Bureau's top lawyer. Now, James Baker, here, this is the thing. This is the thing. They rip apart the opposition research uh, lie. So when people say, well, it's just opposition research. Yeah, but when was the last time Democrats fed up, op- no, Republicans fed opposition research to the Federal Bureau of Investigation to get them to investigate a Democrat? When was the last time Trump and Rudy Giuliani purchased a doc- dossier on President Mashed Potato Brains. We couldn't even talk about the actual real and legitimate emails of his son. So Hunter's emails were off limits. But the dossier that was literally fabricated and paid for, we could talk about that on Twitter. That's the problem with Twitter. The problem with Twitter and social media and politics in our country is that Democrats like to censor and silence and prevent any discussion of anything corrupt on their end. And then they amplify just overt lies and and fabricated myths with Trump. Most of the things you've heard about Trump, oh, he kicked people out of Lafayette Square. He said both sides. This is all nonsense. It's not true. Nothing, none of it's true. Don Jr. said that, um, or that he knew about the DNC emails. No, no, no. This, none of it's true. What you hear with Trump all the time now, because they have absolutely nothing, they're running on fumes, is... Um, oh, uh, he is said to, he said something, he said something to this person, and he was about to do this. That's all they have is hearsay gossip predicated upon liberal sensibilities. You mean Trump was about to do something? Oh my God, he was about to do this? He was about to sell the United States to pay for his hotels in another country? Who was he selling us to? Oh my God, Trump! And so that they believe this nonsense. None of it's true. Most of the things about Trump have been fabricated. Now, there are the, 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 the rhetoric sometimes is too much. I'll, 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 I'll agree with that. And, it, and so he put himself in that situation in, in, to a certain, in a certain respect, in a certain respect. But he didn't have to push the envelope. But that doesn't, even if he pushed the envelope in terms of tweets, again, it's, that still doesn't warrant him being set up and framed. He was telling the truth. He didn't work with Russia. He, was in the, he wasn't installed by anyone. And so um, every other publication that, that pontificates and opines and gives these sermons and preaches about the truth, they're the ones who lied the most. Okay, uh, when an MSNBC p- pundit says, oh, we found his tax returns, <laughs> and th- it leads to nothing then you have to ask, why are these people so obsessed? They're only obsessed to take down one man because they know that his policies make sense. Now they're trying to call him a king, which is hilarious. Which it's just, And another thing, they can't hurt the man other than, the only way they can hurt him is to use the U.S. government to hurt him. And that's failed right now, or the state government. New York ended its pro, but anyway... A plan, to, uh, a plan that used and manipulated the Federal Bureau of Investigation, a plan that the defendant hoped would, would um, make news outlets and, and, and make the FBI begin an investigation, a plan that largely succeeded. And then they talk about the difference between opposition research. Opposition research is something that happens in politics and has for years. Republicans do it, Democrats do it. Um, noting the opposition research is not illegal, but lying to the FBI is. So you can't, the case is about privilege. No one should be so privileged to have the ability to walk into the Bureau and lie for political ends. This is interesting. So they're taking a huge tenant of, you know, the liberal social theory about privilege and all this stuff. And so you you couldn't get more privileged, but this is also deceit. They're saying that, look, when, when when people don't really understand what's going on, they talk about, oh, well, it's just opposition research. No, it's not. No, it's not. If the op- opposition research is finding out a tape of your political opponent having romantic relationship with a barn animal, okay, or a farm animal. Um, it's not 
feeding the feeding an intelligence agency false information and getting that intelligence agency to uh, to investigate. That's not what that's not what that's about. But then the defense says, quote, use your common sense. If Clinton campaign really wanted to send an, uh, in an attorney to conceal his relationship with the campaign, he's the last person they would send in. The, uh, the Bureau knew he was, rep- he was represented. They knew he represented partisan clients. Well, like I said yesterday, Mark Elias, this man's colleague, who did infinitely more to feed information to government agencies, is testifying against Sussman. So not only do you have... Uh, you have official you have you have government officials testifying against Sussman. you have a fusion gps and a tech tech researcher witness two witnesses testifying you have his colleague uh mark elias who is like the number one democratic partisan attorney the number one <laughs> attorney the democrats use the clinton campaign uses celebrated oh my god the new yorker ever they're all saying that he's like oh you know defending democracy democracy has now been redefined as the democratic party's political chances <laughs> he undermines democracy well like this is hilarious too because they're always trying to they're always justifying activity that is contrary to democracy by saying it it upholds democracy so they'll they'll be like you need to silence this conservative pundit democracy is at stake or you need to prevent trump from running for office democracy is at stake it's like no that's democracy entails allowing trump to run or entails allowing the first amendment to exist you know these people have uh, such a warped view about democracy or what this country stands for it's unbelievable but you, you know the the bottom line is there's too much and there's there's been questions about the judge there have been questions about conflicts of interest. There have been questions about the juror, jury. But the bottom line is it's, this is a slam dunk case. It's not difficult. Unless there's some kind of bizarre occurrence, the assessment will get indicted. Hit subscribe to this channel. If there's too much between the text message and between Mark Elias and all the government officials and other, official, and other researchers and, and, and people, Fusion GPS witnesses, it's too much. So the fact that the FBI knew, okay, that's the basis for future indictments. So if bureau officials knew, then they broke the law. If Andrew McCabe knew, and if Comey knew, and if Strzok knew, and if all these people knew that, that Clinton was feeding them a bunch of lies, then we have the basis for other indictments. This is leading to more indictments, people. And this conviction will lead to more indictments. Whether if Sussman gets a month in jail or, or five years, it's really it doesn't matter. He's not going to get five years. He'll probably get. He'll probably, depending on how well the prosecution argues, he'll he'll get. You know, who knows how long he'll get? It really doesn't matter. That's the thing. That's what I'm trying to say. It doesn't matter. This is not about Michael Sussman. Nobody knew who he was. People knew who Mark Elias was, which is interesting. Which is probably why he's uh, turning on his fellow colleague. But you're going to have people who think they're in the clear suddenly get indicted, and they'll be much higher profile than Sussman. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. Be here in like about two hours, people. I'll have a very, very important upload on the Durham Durham Pro Special Counsel in two hours. Please go ahead and share my segment prior to this one, ladies and gentlemen, on Bitcoin. Share that with anyone who thinks Bitcoin will never get down to 10000 or below.